welcome back. So we're here with another tutorial. This one's going to be how to install Nextcloud on your uh, Windows dot, uh, desktop, use, uh, Windows OS with Docker Desktop. So I've already created a Docker Composer here. But before we do that, you need to have WSL2 installed. And um, I've shown a video on how to install Docker Desktop and set it up. Just for reference, uh, all you have to do is uh, add and just turn on, just type add W and it should say turn on Windows features. And you want to make sure this Hyper V is installed. Um, and then down at the bottom, Virtual Machine and Windows Hypervisor. And then Windows Subsystem Linux. So Windows Subsystem Linux, Windows Hypervisor, Virtual Machine, and Hyper V. Once those are installed, you can install Docker Desktop, which I've already done. And you'll want to install a, if you go to uh, your App Store, you want to install an Ubuntu system, uh, Windows Subsystem Linux, which you can find by going here and just typing once you've installed that and restarted your computer. As you can see, I have Ubuntu 22.04. So we're going to go into our Ubuntu to show we have it. We can go into our Windows terminal and load this up. We can go to Ubuntu and see this is set up. So I have my Demon Warrior Tech set up. So now that we've done that, we can just run a basic Windows command and do in our terminal, or our PowerShell, um, Docker, and we're gonna pull these two Docker files. So we wanna pull our Nextcloud official image, which is, I'll link these in the description. Docker pull Nextcloud, and it's gonna pull that image Wait for that to pull. <clears throat> Once that's pulled, we gotta pull the MariaDB official from Docker. So again, we're gonna I'll put these in the description. Pull that image. Okay, once that's done, we're, I'm going to list this uh, doc in the description. You can download the Docker Compose for this. Um, I know where it is, so I'm going to go into my directory. Let's save this. CD Tools. Actually, let's go over the Docker file real quick. There's a couple things you need to know. Um, so here's my Docker file. So leave all this the same. The only thing you really need to change is this one right here. So if you want to change a port, if you already have a port, I picked 8484. Because it um, it isn't run on any other apps that I know of as currently on you know Docker, but you can change it really to anything that's a four-digit number. So I can do like nine 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 or sixty two sixty two. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that the AD after it is continued, so we know that's running. And once we do that, everything else should stay the same. Um, I'm gonna load this now, so I'm gonna go to CD C forward slash tools. And where my Docker is is under a, a, a directory called Nextcloud. Over there. Now we can do Docker compose up dash D. Once that's done, creating the Docker, which it should, it's going to ask me to allow this. We'll allow it. Okay. Once that's done, we want to go into our advanced firewall. So even if you've disabled your firewall. You're still gonna need to go into advanced firewall. So we go into here and go into advanced settings, and we're gonna go into inbound rules and we create an inbound rule, a new rule. I'll show you the rule. Right-click inbound rules and click new rule. Port, and we're gonna add our port for our container, which is gonna be eight four eight four, for our Docker uh, Next Cloud container that's gonna be running on that port. Just name this Next Cloud. Okay. Um, once that's done, we can go into here and we can go into our Docker. We're going to need to change one thing. Let's just make sure we can find out our local port. So let's go into our browser and type in 127.0.0.1, pull in 8.4.8.4, or you can do localhost, and there it finds it. So now we just need to make a username. So I'll just make my administrator, and I'll make my password just something simple. Okay, install. Another thing you need to worry about, oh, I forgot about this in your Docker Compose, is a 
setting in your Docker Compose for your SQL. So it's going to ask you for your SQL password. Just make sure you know this. You can change this to whatever you want. Let's get this. And we're in. So now we have our Docker Compose. We have it running on our local host. Now we need to worry about our caddy. But before we can do that, we need to make one edit so we can allow our caddy to be let through the firewall of Docker. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, go into Open in Terminal, and we're going to do LS to see where we're at. And we want to go to the Config folder. So we do, uh, oh, we want to actually install um, install Nano. So apt install Nano. That's going to be our text editor we're going to use. One sec. Uh, actually, we're going to do apt update, and that's going to update our latest packages. Then we can try um, apt install get vim nano. There we go. So now it's, we don't want Vim though, so we're going to cancel that. We're going to do apt install nano. Okay, there it goes. So now it's creating the nano, and now we can go in and we can do um, uh, nano or ls to find our packages. We can do cd config ls again, it's going to show what's in there, and do cd config.php. Okay. And what that's going to do is, hold on, nano config.php, sorry. That's going to pull up our config. So now we need to add a certain path here. So under um, <clears throat> under our, where is it? Our config, we have to add a couple lines of code. So let me send that. Okay, so under trusted domains right here, this line right here, we want to add a couple of lines. So we're going to copy this, this line right here, hold on. And we're going to paste it, one below, okay. paste it again, Ooh. I want to do that, sorry this editor is not the best when dealing with uh, this, okay. And we're going to add two different domains, so we're going to add one which is going to be our local host, so for example mine, if I do um, under PowerShell IP config, mine is 192.168.1.38. So I'm going to add that in this for number one. So you obviously have the default, which is zero. We want to number these. Each line we do, we number it. So this is going to be my localhost, which is 192.168.1.138, colon A484. Okay. Actually, you can probably just leave out the colon, just do 192.168. And then the next one, we're going to do our domain that we made. So I made mine on Cloudflare as files dot devils designs dot net. So that's my Cloudflare reverse proxy. Okay. So once we add those two, um, those two ones in there, we can base. Oh, let's do. I think this is supposed to be 844. Um, we can now save it. So Control O to save. And then enter and then control X to exit out. Okay. Now to check it, now what I have to do is go into our Docker. So let me one second. Okay, so once that's done and you've added that config, all you do from there is just run it like a regular reverse proxy. So it's gonna be like the same way I showed in the other tutorials. I'll add a link so you guys can see what that's like back when uh, or I'll I'll add a link for you on download for a caddy file so you can see how it looks like. But now what I have to do from here. You just go into our service. So I've already set up a service. Let me go to services and find my caddy service. Okay. And just click properties. We're going to enable it because I disabled it temporarily. We're going to start it. Should start no problem. Cool. Now, if we run our files, so if we go to files.devilsdesigns.net. Best to do an incognito broader just to be safe. Hmm. Should load our next cloud instance. Hopefully. Okay, so after much awaiting, I finally figured out. On my router, I actually had a couple of 443s and 80s conflicting. 
So once you set up your router and you have it all set up, now we have our Cloudflare and we can log in through our administrative password, which I think we just made administrator. And our password was our normal password that we used. And bam, you have now successfully reverse proxy Nextcloud on Windows with Caddy itself and you've made it available outside your home network or inside. As you can see, I'm 192.168.1.38 and colon 8044. And that now works too. So now enjoy your great Nextcloud setup and have a great rest of your day. Thanks, guys.